bless. And we're going to close out our time with you today as you begin to keep the hope and allow God to change whatever needs to be changed. To keep your hope in him. And I'm going to kick me a little uh, college football beat. And uh, I'm going to need y'all to help me out. And we're going to get it rolling. Everybody say change. Change. I can't hear everybody say change. Change. Hardest part is getting started. relationship in my life. My mama had seven sisters, nobody married, just boyfriend after boyfriend, crazy. Now I married this woman, she fast, she fine, but I don't know what I'm doing. I've never seen what a real father's like. I gotta look to the word, but all I know is, no matter what's going on in your life, even when people say you can't do it, it can't happen, it just depends on whose hands you put it in. Put it in his hands. Let's bow our heads, man. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we put it in your hands. Lord, we put our dreams in your hands. Lord, I put my manhood in your hands. Lord, I put my hope in you. Lord, your eyes run back and forth throughout the whole earth, as it says in 2 Chronicles 16, 9, to show yourself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are right towards you. Lord, you said in your word, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Amen. And many, many men have come here today to be free. And Lord, you know all of the things that we need to be free of, but I just pray that when we walk out of these doors, Lord, we will walk so free. And Lord, it's been a situation that has seemed so hard, but we know that you're changing it even right now. And Lord, there's maybe a marriage that is not all the way over yet, but you are fighting for. And really her heart is so hard towards you because of maybe your first half. And maybe things you've done to wound her or scar her. 
But God will give you a fresh new start, a fresh second. And Lord, we have a church here that's been in this city for years and men have been faithful. Calvary Chapel is a, a place where men come and they worship and faithfully. And, and now, Lord, I, I've just been coming and leaving and coming and leaving, but now I'm going to be intertwined. I'm going to be connected because this is my day. I put it in your hands. I put it in your hands. And so if you're here today, uh, I, I must put it like this. I, I don't know if you've been baptized, not baptized. If you've been saved, not saved. You said the sinner's prayer, didn't say the sinner's prayer. You're Catholic, you've been sprinkled. You was Muslim. I, I don't know what it was. I'm saying it to say, I don't know what your religious experience was in the past. All I know is right now, today, you are living your life separated from God. You got gaps in your relationship with him. And like I said in the beginning, you cannot win with gaps in your defense. And you are ready by the Spirit of the Lord to look at him and say, Lord, let's fill the gap. And where you just get connected to him, 